Bayern Munich then win 6-2. The front page of Bild say uh, the new Bayern. Of course, part of the new Bayern is De Ligt, who made that big move from Juventus. Uh, Marciano, we talked a lot on yesterday's show about De Ligt's yeah. potential. In your opinion, why didn't it work out at Juventus? Uh, first of all, I'm really glad that he uh, left Juventus uh, for Bayern Munich. Um, when De Ligt, uh, I think in 2019, he won the Best uh, Talent uh, Award. Uh, and he, he was at this peak at Ajax. He was performing well. He was the leader of defense. He was uh, um, pressing forward. He was dribbling into midfield. He was like everywhere. And um, then he went to Juventus to become a better uh, defender. And he was too eager to become a better defender. So he adapted the style of Chiellini and Bonucci. And those guys are really old and they don't want to play with a lot of uh, space in the, in the back. So what did they, they do? They were just saying, hold the line, hold the line, and then move slowly backwards and then hoping that uh, other players would come in and help out. So um, Matthijs was adapting uh, that kind of uh, defending and it didn't suit him. He was making mistakes. And then when he got into the national team, he got into spaces and he wasn't used to defend spaces anymore. He wasn't used into press forward anymore. So then he lost his uh, um, uh, position to Timber and he got more and more um, into um, an area where he shouldn't be 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 uh, going. So he was um, lost, in my opinion. And so I'm really happy that he's now at uh, Bayern Munich and he has a, a coach with Nagelsmann who really said, I want the leader, Matthijs de Ligt, in defense. We're lacking a player who, who is uh, uh, using his voice who is uh, helping out other defenders. So we really need the leader from Ajax again. So I'm really happy for him. And I hope by making this move, he can back, uh, get back into the national team again because he was really lost. He was lost into this Italian swamp. Blame the Juventus. Italians. Blame the Italians for everything. Well, I don't agree with that entirely because Bonucci and Chiellini have been great players. And the, the problem that he had was that when he went there, and he just said that there, he was a leader at Ajax. He went to Juventus, and there was two other leaders there. And he played with Bonucci, who's very good on the ball, and he was their playmaker. He did those big diagonals. And De Ligt stopped coming out with the ball. He stopped being a playmaker. He'd give the ball to Bonucci, and Bonucci did all the playmaking. And he made mistakes. He, he, he didn't always read the game particularly well. He was, he was reckless on occasions and, and gave away penalties. De Ligt can be, again, a top-class player, and I think it's a great move for him. And he's, but he, what he has to be is given that key role. You're going to be our main defender. Right. You're going to be the key player. He didn't have that at Juventus because they had two players that have been magnificent football. Magnificent again. Magnificent footballers who just won the European Championship as well. But plus the fact he came into Juventus... Well, part of his time at Juventus was at a time where they sort of fell off a cliff in terms of mm. their standards. They went down the Pirlo route. He had three different managers. At, Sarri, Pirlo, and then... You know, Sarri, com Sarri came in with this great new idea of... of, of changing the whole ethos and playing this tippy-tappy stuff that we saw that people used to drive you nuts, say, oh, this is Sarri ball, all that Chelsea stuff. Then they went to the inexperienced Pirlo. Then they went back to basics with Allegri with this more stubborn, pragmatic style. And there's no doubt he lost his way. It's a big move for a young mm. guy going into such a big club in Turin. But I go back to this. I mentioned it on the show the other day. This is a guy who led Ajax and his mm. national team as a teenager, and he needs to get back to being that confident guy who's making good decisions, who's coming out with the ball, and feels like the player that everybody was talking about mm. as an 18, 19 year old again. I think he lost some of that in Turin, and I think it's brilliant for him that he's getting out of there right. at this age, because yeah. there's plenty of time to rebuild that career back up to be the defender we know he can. And remember, he can come back from exactly. disappointments. He played for his debut at 17. He'd only played two games for Ajax. He, played, he made his debut for, for the Dutch side against Bulgaria. He made two mistakes in the first half. I think he was taken off at half time. Give some memory. But he, well, I was doing the game. Mistakes. But, he, mistakes. but he came back and proved that he was a top-class player at Ajax. And he'll be a top-class player again. Could be with, with a, a Van Dijk, if he plays for the Dutch side at the World yeah. Cup, the best centre-half partnership at the World Cup. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.